innovation for us is about long-term value, platforms and pipelines that create value over time. So what that means is that we need to have deep consumer insights combined with strong business strategy and meaningful technology. We also need those things to come together over a long period of time. So when we talk about innovation, it's not idea generation and it's not the lone genius. It's about multifunctional teams working together over time. And in total, it's funded now 400 projects all over the world, 14 countries. We've had 16,000 people give from 80 countries all over the world and impacted 200,000 people. And those numbers are really exciting. I love looking at those. But what those mean, like look through the numbers for a second and know what this means, that people have clean water that didn't have clean water. And families have homes that didn't have homes. And, and kids have schools that didn't have schools. All stemming from a moment of oneness. On the vertical, that's the subject matter expertise of being a great innovator. The integrative thinking, the creativity, the ability to integrate technology and consumer insights and design, all that is what I call being a great innovator. Coming up with that idea and giving people a sense that, you know, what is it and what could it do? The benefits. The horizontal is also critically important. And this is about the ability to get other people who may not be so bought into the idea or not that close to the idea on board and aligned to the vision of what you want to do to improve consumers' lives and improve your company. I would like to convince you that, in fact, certain types of knowledge underlie innovation at your firm. The paradox, as I said, is that knowledge both enables innovation and can inhibit it. So, deep smarts. Here they are, people who have good judgment, people who uh, know a lot about your company, know how to get things done in your company, in your industry. Uh, they often have networks that are extremely important, uh, professional networks, and they are the go-to people in your company. Usually they're pretty obvious, but not always. We look 30 years in the future, and we don't look at technology. We stand back and we look at the societal changes. We look at the demographics. We look at how the world around us is changing, how our lives are colliding and intersecting, and then we try and take from it the little pieces of what is going to be so fundamental that we have to do something different, and then we go figure out how to solve that.